Alright, let's do this. This stage is not easy. Um, the the biggest problem you're gonna have on this stage is the the guys who throw uh, homing uh, fireballs on your ass. The the flying turtles aren't too bad, but uh, these guys coming up are this guy, and then another one spawns down here. Basically, you want to kill them as soon as they come out because they will wreck you uh, with their homing uh, fireballs. You barely have enough time, as you see, he was just about to uh, throw that after me. You barely have enough time to kill these guys, so you got to pretty much be on top of your game. Or have memorized where they come out of at every part, which is ridiculous. So then you start getting these, these dragons and these guys coming out of the roof, so you need to kind of remember where the dragons uh, come out of. Or you're gonna take a hit. This mage isn't too hard to dodge. And these guys with flails don't really become too much of a problem until later on. And then you can kill one of the dragon. And then our mage explodes, cool. So yeah, this stage is pretty hectic, but I've been doing alright so far. These turtles aren't too bad, and you can kill them for one free power up every time. You're gonna need them. I wonder if another dragon comes out of this part or I forget if it doesn't know. Okay, I almost took a hit there. It's kind of hard to collect stuff on this stage as well at the same time. You can get some health from there. Here's when it starts going up at a diagonal and I hate this part. You're gonna get some of the fireball guys after you. Yeah, there's it's not gonna be good. That that hit me twice, like damn. But don't worry, there's a part coming up where you can get a pretty good a pretty good amount of power up, so yeah. Just stay calm, yeah. Uh, the next part here, you basically want to stay at the top here and slightly move forward a bunch, and then go collect your power-ups. Now these there's a couple of these guys that will spawn and they're not that difficult. Basically they'll spawn in, they'll drop in, and then you basically can kill them before they even fire a shot. Uh, so there's three of these guys in a row, and there's a couple later on as well. You want to kill them right away though, because they can do some damage. This part can get you some power-ups. Uh, there's these turtles, and as long as you stay above them and then just throw stuff down on them, you'll be fine. And you'll need to kill this fire, uh, flamethrower fire dude. Now don't go forward at the section because two of these guys will drop down. And uh, yeah, so, so don't go forward at that section. I've died many times because I forgot about that. And we're up to the boss, so this boss is actually not terribly difficult, but can still uh, kick your ass if you, don't, if you don't know what you're doing. Okay guys, I think we're ready for this. Now, you want to stay right, like attack this boss as soon as he comes out, and then uh, quickly use a bomb and keep attacking this guy. Uh, use your three bombs and you can actually take this guy out really quickly. I don't even need to use all three. He's not, or he or she, I think it was a she, is not bad. Not too bad. Considering how hard um, her stage was, it's kind of... I'm kind of glad that it was relatively easy. Now we've got the hardest stage in the game. This stage is uh, this stage is really bad, but um, yeah. you still get to choose your armor. Oh, it's the thing we saw from the intro. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, the stage is not does not play around. It's it's pretty bad. <laughs> well, there's only one armor I can use in this stage, and once again, it's going to be the earth armor. The fire armor would be okay, but. Generally, you want to kill stuff quick on this level, so Earth Armor is. Now, we want two bombs. Um, we want some more power. That'll do. We want some more life. 
to buy two of them. I probably should yeah, I should have just bought that, goddammit. Um Shield, do I want a shield? I probably do. Um I'll get yeah, I'll get uh I'll get our shield and I'll get that. Can't afford that a lot. Uh, you don't really need to worry about uh, your money at this stage. You can basically just have um, to spend all your money here. So yeah. Right, let's attempt to do this. The stages. Uh, right. So first of all, you want to um, you get bombarded by this mini boss here. Who hates your guts? Um, every. Um, Every fucking was it? Every one of these uh, lights you kill, they throw up like molten lava or some shit like that. I'm just how did I dodge that? I don't know. Basically, they'll they'll give you power ups if you kill them all. I think so. It's kind of good to kill them all. Uh, then you'll get more spike traps. Then you've got to go through this section, which is fucking annoying as shit. Because you got to dodge this guy as well, then go on the ground to kill him. Oh jeez, right. These Aztec dudes, whatever the fuck they are, they, they, they die easily, but um, you've got to kill them like, right away. And then this guy will come out. He's really easy. I still got my shield in this section, I'm surprised. Right, so after the next mini boss, I'm going to take a save state because this stage just requires it. There's a mini boss coming um, up later on that's fucking insane. And I lost my um, things. Right, so this guy. I'm gonna save state here. This guy is annoying as shit. Yeah, you fought him before and he was annoying, but you don't understand. He's so much more annoying here because of the layout. I actually done that? Wow. Okay. And then you start to go backwards. Backwards. You've never went backwards the entire game. Yeah, it wants you to go backwards now. Um, mind you, it throws these all these spike traps at you, of course. Um, you got to kind of do some fucking dodging skills. Uh, it doesn't work out for me, as you can see. Ah, oh, shit, man. Fucking impossible. So eventually you'll get past this part, and then uh, the crab thing from before will start um, attacking you. It's not too difficult. Fucking lasers and shit. Yeah, just keep attacking them, you'll be fine. Oh shit. God damn it. I didn't kill him fast enough. Once again. This part is bad. Um, you got tons of spike traps at the top. You got them in the side. You got to kind of do this fucking maneuver with it. Get some life. Oh god, I don't have a level one. Jesus Christ. This is not good at all. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, fucking off the screen. Right, so you can get some power ups. Uh, this guy, this guy is fucking awful. Okay, so basically I'm gonna use uh, two bombs up on this section because this guy is fucking annoying as shit. So yeah. Okay, so here is the not final boss actually, but um, I treat him as the final boss because the next part is so easy after this. So yeah. Then this requires a save state. So let's do this. Right, so all you need to wor worry about here is um, being able to kill this guy. Uh, it doesn't matter how much health you have, but you can't damage him right at the start here. He jumps twice, throws uh, these fireballs at you or whatever. Then he'll split in apart and then you can whack away at this thing. Now you need to dodge the orbs after and you can do such a good job and then he'll throw stuff at you. And uh, Jump twice again, then you can fly behind him and slash this thing again. It'll go green and then it'll hit red. 
I really need to get the Ons in there. And then you can slash it away at him again, and he's dead. Yeah, that all it, that's all it takes. I could have used the bomb there, but I didn't have to. But you're still on our stage. This part is actually really, really easy, even though it is technically the final boss. It's surprising because the final boss is really easy. And I'm gonna use the armor. I haven't used it, the wind armor. Because it's that easy. Uh, you want to buy three bombs, but your power and your health is restored at the start of this. Um, at the start of this, so it doesn't even matter. You can just buy a shield and get out. So yeah. Okay, let's do this. First, you'll get a cutscene thing. Am I the only one that thinks this music doesn't really fit in with the rest of the soundtrack? Seems pretty subdued compared to the rest, though. Yes, your character's name is Landis. I never owned the manual, so I don't, I don't even know what the story really is. But it's an old game, so whatever. Yeah, I know the health and the power looks bad, but you'll completely um shield completely restore all my all my shit. This guy's really easy. Look at him. Yeah, so it restored all my stuff. There's wind level three. That music's more like it. This is really easy. Um It's so easy. Right, so he has three forms, but it's, it's really easy. Um, the first thing you want to do is just stand right beside him and slash him. He'll die before he even gets a hit on you, pretty much. Even with Wind Armor, it's so easy. The next thing you want to do is... Um, he'll, he'll be a little more threatening here, but as soon as he throws his uh, axe, you basically want to use a bomb. I, I completely missed him with a wind bomb there. Oh. Yeah, come on, three packs. And just keep hitting him after you uh, you have your bombs done with. You can slash at him a bit as well. Yeah. So lastly, he'll... Um, I have a form, but this is actually the easiest part. Um, you basically what you want to do is, when he spawns, get yourself into his mouth and just just stay here in this one spot. You won't be able to get hit by the spikes or the lasers. It's like what the hell? So it's actually harder if you, you actually try to play the game, but. I don't want to beat that boss because he seems like he'd be pretty hard if I didn't do that. So we got an outro and I'll shut up for this as well. No, I have no idea what the story's about, so yeah. <laughs> actually kind of interested to what they say in the manual, but oh well, I don't actually own the game, so yeah. So yeah, and we got a credit roll. Um, yeah, so this game is pretty fucking awesome, but it's 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 pretty hard um, until the last stage. As you saw, that was really easy. It wasn't even a stage, really. 
the dark, uh, the the final area we went into before that was called the Dark Tower, and that was pretty damn hard. But uh, the other stages aren't terrible, but you know they're they're harder than what I'm accustomed to. I'm, I don't play many shooter mobs. They're so. The game before this called Gate of Thunder is also really, really good. Uh, I don't know if I'll play that in the future. I believe it's only Japanese that got to... I don't think it was translated, I'm not entirely sure about that. Tease music, you're fucking awesome. That's all, that's all it says. <laughs> it doesn't actually say the actual name of the people who composed it. Unless Groove King is the actual name of someone, I don't know. Okay. Oh Jesus! So yeah, I may do Gate of Thunder in the future. It's it's actually probably harder than this game, but oh well. It also doesn't really have a stage select. This game is pretty nice. Uh, do I have to reset or will it uh, end the credit? Uh, go to um, go to the main menu automatically. I don't actually know. Oh, it's cut now, so I assume. There we go. So yeah, back to the title screen. It's not long. I'll probably have I'll probably have this up in like three videos. It's it's not that long, but it's it's really fun for what it is. And uh, you could try hard or super mode if you want. I'm gonna stay clear of that. There's I think there's a way to. Um, this is what the cheats to get ten thousand credits. You got to set up like this, and then you got to press select. Not select. I press start there. Oops. Yeah, so you set up like that and then you press select and button one. Or is it button two? Or yeah, you gotta have it over the level. You press select and button one over the level and it'll give you that little uh, sound and when you go into it and start a new game uh, you should have ten thousand credits, yeah you do. So yeah. Not that that's necessarily going to help you completely, you can buy some elixirs. Actually, I, I want to test the elixir because I, I don't think I actually bought one. Oh, the bomb. Anyway, I'll just get hit a bunch. Just stand in here. Now, it should restore. Yeah, it restores you with all your life after a second. Okay. Well, that was this game then. I, I don't know, I don't think I can reset it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, this music's fucking awesome. Tempted to like download the soundtrack to my my phone or something and just listen to it on the bus. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and that was Lords of Thunder. <laughs>